Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Lego Lee 329 here, back with our Lego Hobbit review. I'm so excited to finally be bringing you guys brand new Lego Hobbit reviews based off of Desolation, a smog movie. So excited for this movie and very excited for these new sets. And today we have the set Dogledore Ambush. This is cost about 20 US dollars. I found it at my local Toys R Us. They'll be available on Lego.com December 1st. It is 8 through 14. It's at number 790. One, one. It contains 217 pieces, and here's a front look at your box. Look at the artwork up in the right corner. This box just looks absolutely fantastic. There is a quick look at the back of your box. This set includes one instruction manual with 54 pages of building. First of our minifigures here is a Gundabob Orc. Hopefully I said that word right. And very cool minifigure right here. You actually get two of these in this set. They are the exact same besides one little thing. The other one does not have that shoulder armor piece, but a very good looking minifigure. Technically speaking, this figure is exclusive. However, there are the same kind of orcs that come in two of these other new Hobbit sets, but they do not feature that hair piece. This is the only thing you can get these orcs with the hair piece in. So technically this is an exclusive minifigure. It looks very good from the front right there. There he is from the back. There's a quick look at his back printing and also a nice look at his back head printing, which is really cool. Our final minifigure here is an important character in this new Hobbit movie, and that is Bjorn, a very cool looking minifigure from the front right here. Interestingly, his head is actually all one big mold. I was kind of surprised at that. I thought it was going to be a regular minifigure head with a piece going over it, but nope, it's actually just one big mold. Very cool piece. This is a very interesting looking figure exclusive to this set. And the only downside is, if you know anything about the character Bjorn in the book, he is a shapeshifter and he can shapeshift into a bear. But you do not get the bear in this set. Hopefully at some point Lego makes the bear, but unfortunately not in this set, but a great looking minifigure nonetheless. There is Bjorn from the back, and there is a better look at his back printing. Here is the piece of Dogodor you get itself. Before we move on to the main part of the set, I'd like to mention a couple of small accessories you get. First up, you get two skulls. It doesn't really tell you exactly where you need to put those, so you can kind of just leave them wherever you want. You also get a catapult, which is actually a pretty cool design considering it has two catapults, which is really cool. And you do have the option of firing them both at the same time or firing them individually, and I'll demonstrate that right now. Here is Dogledore itself, and this is kind of just a small chunk of Dogledore, and if you did not know, there is an option to buy the bigger Dogledore battle set, and you can connect this onto that set by those pegs right there. Now, I will show you how those connect later in my review of the Dogledore battle set, but not for this video. You guys are just going to have to wait. I gotta say, from the front right here, LEGO did a pretty good job designing this. It looks interesting. It looks definitely like kind of like a ruined castle. I like these pieces right here. I think those spikes look really cool in that color. Very interesting. I love the use of some of those red pieces. Torch right there. Really, really well detailed. Reminds me a lot of a lot of these Lord of the Rings sets that we have seen in Hobbit sets. Kind of like, you know, Riddles in the Dark. The same kind of rocky texture. Really well designed on LEGO's part. There's hardly anything going on from this side, but this is the side that you will connect it onto the Dogledore battle set. Moving along towards this side, interesting little play features going on over here. The main one here is that this thing can just swing open. I don't really understand the exact purpose of this play feature. There's like a little spike right here, besides the fact that it reveals a hidden flick fire missile, which is actually kind of hard to flick because it's in a really awkward position. I don't really know what's up with that play feature. Um, it's probably something from the movie or Lego just trying to throw in an extra play feature. Not a great one right there, kind of odd, but it's all right, I guess. Here is the back of the structure, and you guys can probably already figure out what a play feature is going to be back here. Basically, you had those little eye kind of pieces from Bionicles back in the day. If you take one of those pieces and you swing it, it will swing basically booby traps right on the front. This one swings very nice axes. The other one here swings some pretty powerful hammer right there. Really cool. And the nice thing is that they don't hit each other when they swing. They, you know, match up perfectly. Really good design on Lego's part, and I'll demonstrate that feature from the front. Here's a look at how that feature can function. Basically just swing it and you will hit a figure out of the way. They can stand on these pegs right here. Really nice playability feature on Lego's part. All right guys, final vote here on the Dogledore Ambush set. For $20, the price per piece here is perfect. The minifigures are great, Bjorn especially. And the actual pieces you get are pretty cool. I think the playability is pretty good. And I think if you can't afford the $70 Dogledore battle set, this is a great alternate option for a lot 
cheaper. So I gotta say this is a pretty cool set. There is something a little bit missing from it. I don't know, there's not a wow factor to me here, but I think for $20, it's definitely a must get if you're a Lego Hobbit fan. That's why I'm gonna give this set an eight out of 10, very solid rating, I would highly recommend it. So I hope to see you guys next time. Please go like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and follow me on Instagram. There'll be links to all those pages down in the description below, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.